Happy Friday, everyone. How are you guys doing? Um, okay, so I want to do a quick video before I go into work today. Um, I got lots of rest last night. I'm so super excited about the week of Thanksgiving. We are going to have a blast. Um, all right, so uh, today's video, I have a bag that I'm putting together to keep all of my Bible stuff in, and I want to um, have a Bible study bag, a bag that I can take anywhere, church, Bible study. Um, I can take upstairs, downstairs, and I can have what I need um, in my Bible bag. And um, I have a lot of things I'm going to do with this bag, but um, I got the bag at um, Timu a long time ago, and I've had it for a while now, and um, I thought this was a perfect bag, and um, let me show you what I've got. Right now, I just kind of shoved everything in there, but we're going to go through it real quick. Ugh, it's heavy. See that? Big old bag. Ooh. Um, so I'm super excited. I am going to um, flip the camera around, show you what I do have in here real quick. And we're just going to organize it a little bit. And then I'm going to end the video telling you what else I want to add to this bag. All right, guys. Uh, look at that. It's completely jam-packed. I'm going to have to maybe choose and pick and see what I um, can get rid of in here because this is a lot. Um, and it's very heavy. And um, so first thing first, you got your Bible. Um, this is... A Bible I got right after my divorce, um, and I got it because um, it's large print, and I have been having some major, major problems with my eyesight, and um, so I got that, and then I got the um, Bible tabs, and uh, the NIV version is what we use um, in Bible study, and that's what we use most of the time. So I have this and I use the King James version at church. And so um, I do like the large print in my Bible and um, I do underline things. But I really would like in 2025 to start Bible journaling. Um, and it's a lot of things that I would have to put in my bag here. But um yeah, this is what I would like to do and um, just be really organized and um, have that relationship with God that I need. I do like that um, there is red letters also in this Bible um, and I like the teal color. It's very pretty. All right. So um, I have a Psalms word search right here. I have the Bible in 52 weeks, a year-long Bible study. I definitely want to keep this in here. This is something that I want to do um, in 2025. I have a coloring Bible book that's brand new. I've never used it. I have a um, notebook pad of paper for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you not harm you plans to give you hope and a future and it's just a plain notebook with verses at the bottom be still and know that I am God Psalms 46 10 love that verse I have a um, pocket Bible devotional for women um, this has dates Let's go to today's date, November. Twenty second. The testing of your faith. Be truly glad there is wonderful joy ahead, even though you must endure many trials for a little while. These trials will show you that your faith is genuine. It is being tested as fire test and purifies gold. Oh your faith is more precious than gold. So is your faith remains strong through many trials. 
It will bring you much praise and glory and honor on the day when Jesus Christ revealed the whole world. 1 Peter 1, 6 through 7. You guys, that is amazing. The testing of your faith. There's a difference between temptations and trials. God doesn't lead you into temptation because temptation leads to sin and God doesn't want you to sin. Affliction causes suffering and sometimes incomprehensible painful times. These trials and tests of faith that allow us to grow spiritually and strengthen our faith in him is during trials that we know God will never leave us. He will assist and carry us through. He does, however, want us to be obedient to him and his word. You guys, perfect, perfect uh, devotional for this morning. This makes me feel good. Um, it gives me hope that God has this plan. Um, going through a divorce with false allegations, going through um, a marriage that uh, I was depressed in and I was unequally yoked with my spouse. This is perfect. Um, this gives me um, the love that I know that God can only give. And um, he gets me through my trials. And I'll tell you, 2024, he sure has gotten me through my trials and has um, given me hope. And um, I know he wants me to prosper and not fall. So uh, I love having that devotional um, and just those in there would be perfect for my Bible bag. But I've got more. Um, I've got a Walking with Jesus activity book. Um, I've got another uh, notebook. Okay, so here, this one I could probably get rid of. And um, so I was writing uh, some of the Bible things I was learning in um, church in here. And so... Um, a mother, a mother is wanted, needed, sacrificed, devoted, distraught. Don't forget those babies alive and those that you've lost in my miscarriages. And this talks about Hannah. And so I must have been um, learning about Hannah in class um, or in church. So um, these are my notes. And, um, yeah, you guys, I, um, want to, uh, keep this and, um, use it somewhere else, but I think I am going to take this one out of my Bible bag. Okay. I have my church bulletin and my gratitude book for Thanksgiving. I have another Psalms coloring book. This one I think I will take out and just keep in my bedroom so I can doodle whenever I want to because it's big, and bulky, and heavy. Um, I have a prayer journal for women, 52-week scripture devotional for guided prayer. This is something I haven't started yet, but I would like to. Um, it's amazing to um, be able to write down your thoughts and just have a prayer journal. So I am definitely going to keep this and um, this with that um, other, let's see, this with the 52 weeks, since it's both 52 weeks, um, I'm going to do this in 2025. So I think I will take it out of my bag, but I'm going to put it aside and I'm going to be making videos on this 52 week. Uh, Bible study and uh, prayer journal starting in January. I also have this book called Wanted, um, Song of Solomon Bible study. This is from um, my associate pastor's daughter. Um, she was a single mom and she has been through some trials and tribulations um a lot of the same that i have had and her faith is what's gotten her through and her name is angela and so um i got her bible study when she came to a women's conference and talked and it's just about being loved and wanted um you are a daughter of the king and so um i wanted to do this bible study and i do want to share this with you 
also. Um, I have not started it yet, and I've had it for over a year. So um, I do want to get this going also in uh, 2025. Um, I'm going to keep it in here because I'm going to go ahead and start it, and then I will do reviews on it with you guys. Okay, I have um, a thing of pins in here that I'm going to take out of here and put um, in the front pocket. I have a, a bookmark. Above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. Proverbs 4, 23. That is so true, you guys. Um, whatever you have in your heart, that is the kind of person you're going to be. Those are the decisions you're going to make. Um, if you don't have love in your heart for your spouse, you're going to leave that spouse. You're going to file for divorce. And um, that's why I said I never felt loved in my marriage is because I knew it. Um, and my husband uh, didn't show it. And so um, when he filed for divorce, it really wasn't a surprise. I knew he um, didn't love me. And so... Um, your actions show how you feel and others can see, um, you know, where your heart is. Um, and the Bible actually says where your heart is, your treasure is. And so if your heart is, um, on worldly things, then, you know, um, that's the decisions you're going to make. And those are the actions that others see in you. And it doesn't show that you're a Christian. And the Bible also says we will know them by their fruits. So if you're making the decisions based on your heart and your heart is not right with God, others are going to see it in your life. And so um, I want to make sure that you all know here on YouTube, my heart is with God. And um, I am a Christian single mom. Okay, I have this little pouch thing here. Um, I've had this for many, many years. Um, probably 10 <laughs> And I don't even remember where I got it, but I love it. Um, it's got a little owl on it. And it um, actually is holding a lot of paper clips and things um, and post-it notes. And I'm going to go through this and take some of these out and put them um, in the front pocket of this bag. Also, um, I don't need like these big ones. But I am going to pull out the small ones and these little post-its because I want to start using them a lot more in my Bible. And then in the front pocket, I have a highlighter and a couple pens. And some washi tape, which I need to get more washi tape. And um, yeah, this is just the cutest little bag ever. And um, I'm going to put all this stuff back in here, nice and neat. Okay, guys, I got it all nice and neat now. See that? Um, and I got everything in there. It's a little bit lighter. It's not as heavy as it was. I took out one, two, three, four, five books. So that's not bad. And um, I just love having this. Um, something I haven't shown you on this bag is... It also has a carrying strap, so um, I can put it over my shoulder and carry it. It also is made out of canvas, and so I can um, do an iron on on there. Um, I'm probably going to do that, actually, this weekend um, with a Bible verse or two or three or I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But um, I love this bag, you guys. I love it. Um, I wanted to just share with you um, my Bible bag. And I want to thank you for watching. I got to go to work. I'm late. Ah! All right. Happy Friday. Bye.